Uh, just a regular cappuccino, no sugar. Always gets me going in the morning. Um, fairly, fairly a zombie in early mornings if my kids waking up, so I'd head down here and grab a quick coffee. Yeah, look, it's quite slow at the moment. Um, it's two operations within a year on the same knee, so look, the, the second operation went extremely well, um, and I'm currently in the rehab process, as you said, and hopefully start running in about a month or so, and, and give it a crack next, next season. At the moment, I'm basically waking up, a uh, bit of breakfast, I head to training, uh, whether it be at Mingara or at, at the Tugger Training Complex, and uh, I do my gym program. Um, and then I do a bit of a smash up in the pool or, or on the bike just to maintain my fitness. Um, any physio that I require, I do that in the afternoons and then I'm at home spending the rest of the afternoon with my family. Yeah, it's been fairly frustrating uh, to be honest for the last two seasons. Uh, obviously I didn't take part in, in the championship winning season last year and, and this season uh, has been no different, it's been quite tough. Um, still quite co close to the boys, heading to training every day and, and watching them train and that. Um, at the same time, you know, like I, I wanted to do extremely well and uh, you know, my main focus is just getting back onto the training field and, uh, and hopefully games and uh, help contribute to the team. Yeah, well it's changed quite dramatically to when I first uh, uh, came to the club. Uh, obviously I've got a small family now, I've got a beautiful wife and two kids. They definitely keep me on my toes, uh, watching the kids grow up at home and, and helping out my wife where I can. That's, that fills in the majority of my spare time when I'm not uh, you know, in the gym or on the bike or in the pool. Yeah, I think it's uh, extremely important to the club that we remain, maintain contact with the community. Uh, whether it be going into schools or visiting sick kids in hospital uh, or visiting uh, one of the 23 clubs that we have around the Central Coast, the local clubs. Uh, we, we were heavily involved with the community uh, from day one. It sort of petered out a little bit and uh, you know we lost touch there for a bit for a bit but uh, look we're, we're trying to get that back and uh, you know remain in constant contact with the community and hopefully in return, they can come to the game and support the team, and, and that's what you know we, we need uh, as a club and as a whole community. I oh, look, I think um, you know it's a very hostile environment, and to go over there and pick up any sort of result, being a, a draw or a win, would have been uh, you know would have been fantastic. Obviously, that didn't happen. Uh, I thought the team played well in patches. Uh, I thought at times it popped up a bit of too much possession, too easy, gave the ball away too easy. But then again, that gets back to you know that hostile environment, and playing in their own backyard, different conditions. I thought the boys applied themselves well. Uh, we're just a bit unlucky in the end. We didn't have luck go our way that night. Uh, hopefully, we can bounce back uh, this weekend with again a win against the Melbourne Heart, and obviously the following return leg uh, against Beijing Guan at, at Gosford. Yeah, look, uh, you know they've struck a bit of form lately. Melbourne Heart, you know, they started the season off terribly. Uh, you know, and, and, Recently, they picked up a few big scouts, a few big results, and uh, you know they're teetering on the edge of the top six. Look, I think we just got to worry about ourselves, you know, uh, especially with recovery and travel time. We just got to worry about ourselves and our own game plan. And I'm sure if we take that game plan out against Melbourne Heart, uh, we'll get the bickies and get the three points. Oh, look, uh, first and foremost, I just love to get back playing again. Um, you know, 30 is still young and uh, I know some of the players that have been at this club, uh, Patrick Zunsvog and Daniel McBreen have, have uh, played extremely well at, at definitely an older age. Um, my, my personal goal is just to get back out on the playing field. You know, I, I sort of miss playing at Gosford Stadium. That's the biggest, biggest thing that I miss about you know, being out injured for so long. Uh, but just help, helping out the team and uh, helping out the young guys where I can. Uh, on the training field and uh, look I'd love to go out with the bank uh, you know hopefully you know if my mindset's right my body can do the same thing and stay injury free and, and get back out there and enjoy myself one last time oh I don't know at the moment uh, it's the it's the million dollar question for me at the moment I, I, I've got no idea I was basically straight out of high school finished my HSC and straight into full-time football so I uh, don't have a lot behind me at the moment but um slowly um, working with the careers lady at the club um, and hopefully we can get some something sorted in the near future uh, but you know first and foremost you know I just want to get my knee right and uh, 
uh, have my last year at the club, go out with a bang and, and score plenty of goals and help contribute to the team's success.